Bars and restaurants. Restaurant bar areas where alcoholic beverages are stored or dispensed came under close scrutiny in 2009. Laws were passed to reduce the prevalence and visibility of bar structures and bar service in restaurants, and minors were prohibited from being seated at bar structures. These laws initially applied only to full-service and limited-service restaurants, but now they also apply to the new beer-only restaurants. Here are some of the details of these rather complex laws. Bar, or bar structure, means a surface or structure at which an alcoholic product is stored or dispensed. Counter means a surface or structure in a dining area where seating is provided to a patron for service of food, but not where alcohol is stored or dispensed. Grandfathering of bar structures. Any full service or limited service restaurant that, as of May 11, 2009, had patron seating at a bar structure that was divided by a partition along the width or length of the structure, or a restaurant that was under construction as of May 12, 2009, and was granted a license by the Commission by December 31, 2009, may allow adults to be seated at the bar and serve alcohol without the partition. This grandfathering continues if the restaurant changes ownership. For purposes of beer-only restaurants, a grandfathered bar structure is one that was 1. in a restaurant or that was operational as of January 1, 2011 and had facilities for dispensing or storing beer or Number two, will be in a restaurant that was not operational as of January 1, 2011, but the licensed applicant had a building permit to construct the restaurant and was actively engaged in the construction of the restaurant and is issued a beer-only restaurant license by no later than December 31, 2011. Alcoholic beverages may be dispensed only from 1. A grandfather bar structure 2 an area in a full-service or limited-service restaurant adjacent to a grandfathered bar structure that is visible to a patron sitting at the grandfathered bar structure if that area was used to dispense an alcoholic beverages as of May 12, 2009, i.e., a service bar near the bar structure, or 3. An area that is separated from the dining, staging, lobby, or waiting areas by a solid, opaque, or translucent permanent structural barrier so that the dispensing or storage of alcohol is not readily visible and accessible to restaurant patrons. If a restaurant remodels, it loses the above grandfathering benefit. However, as an incentive, a grandfathered bar structure remains so notwithstanding whether a restaurant undergoes a change of ownership. Patrons may consume alcohol at their table, a counter, or a grandfathered bar structure where food is served. Minors may not sit or be served food or beverages at a grandfathered bar structure. Miners may perform maintenance and cleaning services at bar structures when the restaurant is not open for business. Miners may momentarily pass by a grandfathered bar structure en route to an area where a miner is permitted to be, but may not remain or sit at a bar structure. Miners may be seated at a counter. Thus, miners may be seated next to an adult patron that is consuming an alcoholic beverage if that beverage was dispensed from remote locations separate and not visible to restaurant patrons. Alcoholic beverage bottles may be displayed in areas visible to restaurant patrons. Such bottles may be used for dispensing, but once opened, must be stored in the separate storage dispensing area not visible to restaurant patrons. Utah Permits Number 1. Single Event Permits Single event permits are available for a group that wants to sell liquor, wine, beer, or heavy beer over 3.2% at a temporary event. These are available to a bona fide partnership, corporation, limited liability company, church, political organization, or incorporated association, or to a recognized subordinate lodge, chapter, or other local unit thereof that is conducting a civic or community enterprise or convention. The organization must have been in existence for at least one year prior to the date of application. A qualified organization can have up to 12 permits a year that are valid no longer than three consecutive days, 72 hours, or up to four permits that can last no longer than five consecutive days, 120 hours. The permit allows for cash bars and the sale of alcoholic beverages to the general public or to the organization's own invited guests for the duration of the event. Number two, temporary special event beer permit. A temporary beer permit allows the sale of beer at retail for on-premise consumption at a temporary event that does not last longer than 30 days. The sale of beer under a series of permits issued to the same person may not exceed 90 days in any one calendar year. Beer regulation. The retail, off-premise sale of beer, general food stores, convenience stores, etc., is regulated by cities, towns, and counties in which the retailer is located. These entities have the authority to license, tax, regulate, including the hours and days of sale, 
and or prohibit the sale of beer for off-premise consumption. State law requires stores that sell beer for off-premise consumption to display all beer products in an area that is visibly separate and distinct from the area where non-alcoholic beverages are displayed and to post a sign that reads, these beverages contain alcohol. Please read the label carefully. This concludes module four. Let's do a little recap. In this module, you learned about the different Utah retail outlets and rules. You should now be familiar with rules relating to state stores, package agencies, full service restaurants, limited service restaurants, beer only restaurants, resort licenses, on-premise banquet and catering licenses, reception center, clubs, on-premise beer retailers, airport lounges, Utah permits, and beer regulation. You may now take the module four quiz.